Hi Cancer, we're doing your money read for August 2024. Cancer's money read for August 2024. Okay, there's your card. Let's see what we get. No, okay, this is good. This is good. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. It's also a blue. So maybe now someone's ready to talk or speak out or something like that. All right, someone's ready to talk. Mm. Let's see if it stays up. I don't know. Yeah, someone that could have walked away from you, all right? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm pulling this up for the sun here. Nine of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, you could be a Cancer with um, Earth placements in your birth chart. A lot of Virgo and um, Gemini here. You could have that strongly in your birth chart, whoever is reading this, okay? And that's who it's gonna resonate with. Someone that has strong Virgo placements in their birth chart, the Nine of Pentacles, and also strong air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Strongest signs though is Virgo and Gemini and someone's birth chart. And they're pointing that out very strongly, okay? So that's who it's gonna resonate mostly with. This Nine of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Either you walked away and, and they didn't expect that and you caused them to have a tower, okay? Yeah, you did. <laughs> okay guys you, the emperor you walked away from an emperor so he's like no way no you didn't so you cost him a tower when you walked away so maybe he didn't expect you to walk the walk away okay so this could have been like someone in the past it could have been a player that wanted to keep his options open and he just didn't see your value or your worth at the time he definitely felt like you know i just want to keep my options open so this person could have your person in the past could have had um, self-esteem problems or issues at the moment, at that time, okay? And it could have affected how he viewed you, okay? Because if he don't feel good, he, you know, his outlook on life and women that he deal with is not going to be good neither. So that's what I'm saying. So it's not his fault. It's just where he was at that time. If he's got low self-esteem at that time or struggling with the self and identity and all that stuff, he's not going to see the world that clear and he, he ain't going to see us right neither any women he's not going to see right so that's what i'm saying it does look like he's clearing his head with the nine of swords in reverse here this is a good card in reverse i feel like he's also looking at his patterns and stuff um like what he did in the past like he's, he's looking at his thinking patterns he feel that his thinking patterns were off in the past. Like he didn't really express himself and stuff. It is a blue card. So he feels like he didn't open up to you in the correct way here. Okay. He just feels, um, he feels like he should have talked more. Like he should have opened up more towards you. Um, he does see you now as very independent, powerful. He sees you in the correct light. That's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm getting that. So it may be for one person or something. Someone out here could have thought somebody was a gold digger or something like that. Now he sees you're not. You're out here making your own money. You're doing your own thing or something like that. With this nine of pinnacle energy, you are. You're doing it by yourself. I'm hearing good girl, something like that. So either this guy is like amazed by you or proud of what you're doing or proud of what you achieved or something like that. Maybe before he didn't believe in you. Maybe he didn't believe in himself. So please note this may or may not resonate. So, you know, people project a lot of things onto other people when it's really their problem, their issues, something they got to solve. They got to do it themselves. But instead, they don't work on themselves. They instead tend to blame other people and project onto other people cancer. So you guys know that a lot of us are, are already dealing with stuff like that. So that's what I'm saying. This person's definitely looking at their patterns at night. And um, before it was stressing them out, I do feel that they're dealing with the dark night of the soul here. And I do feel that they're looking at their patterns, looking at what they did wrong. And they are trying to correct that at the moment, okay? So with the Nine of Swords, they're just coming out of anxiety at night, insomnia, um, stress, depression, um, just feeling anxious. They're bringing me back to anxiety, okay? So your person could have felt feel really anxious at night and can't sleep and stuff like that. It looked like a lot is on their mind with all these swords, the way they're lined up in this deck. 
feels like a lot is on their mind okay and they also they're pointing out day and night here and i don't know why they're making the, that look like the sun to me they're making this look like day and night they think about you day and night whatever happened is hunting them however they treated you however they did you is hunting them they're looking at their patterns they're trying to clear it up as much as they can it looks like they're coming out of this though so this person will be able to sleep or if it's not them it's you maybe you're clearing up things your thought patterns maybe um whoever this is is clearing things up mentally here you're thinking things at night but more in a balanced way. The checkerboard down here at the bottom, someone could be good at chess or something like that. Or checkers, uh, that is uh, black and red. And maybe the colors are significant to you. I don't know why they're bringing up the board. Uh, I was thinking about chess today and I don't even like chess. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe your guy plays chess, okay? And maybe he likes chess. The other guys, maybe someone else guy likes checkers or something like that. Someone's good at games or a whiz or a genius at games I'm getting. I don't know who this person is, Cancer. So I'm kind of happy I'm doing this read, getting this out. I do feel somebody that you're dealing with is a, a heavy gamer. He could also be on YouTube. He could be gaming on YouTube or something like that. All right, guys? Your person that you're meant to be with is a gamer. <laughs> I'm sorry to bust your bubble. But it's okay. He's making a lot of money, though, okay? Because he's good at what he does if he is a chess game gamer or he's checker gamer he's doing some kind of board game or if not it's a virtual where he's you know on social media or something like that he's good at games he's good at gaming he could also work for um a casino or um you know the ones that fix the slot machines or something he knows some kind of trick or technique He's some kind of way they keep pointing out he's making a lot of money. That's how you're going to know who he is, okay? Because he, and he likes fast cars, too. He likes to drive fast, whoever your guy is. Okay, and he's good at the board games and stuff. He's real fast and crafty, and they're seeing him as a genius. So that's your person, and um, you either know him. It looks like you guys know him, all right? He's changing his thought patterns, or you're changing him. But someone walked away from someone. It does look like you walked away. He could have walked away first or something like that, wanting to be with someone else or have more options. Please note this may or may not resonate, and then you walked away, and then it cost them to have a tower. It's like... I can do it, but you can't do it. You see what I'm saying? And that's the feeling I'm getting. I'm kind of getting like, you know, how dare you walk away from me? And, you know, I'm trying to keep you here, you know. So it's not like he, when he wasn't paying you attention, it's not like he was dissing you. He just have, if he has low self-esteem, he's trying to get attention everywhere. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I feel your person was doing in the past, just getting attention everywhere. Um, and then... Now he he realized since you're gone that you're very important to him and stuff like that. He wants to turn around and come back here. That's why he's having a tower moment because he's realizing, yeah, he's realizing he should have worked with you. We also have the three of pinnacles behind that emperor, okay? This also could be job related as well, guys. So um, cancer for your money. You, you know, your boss could have fired you or something like that. Please note this may or may not resonate. Okay, because I'm getting that part too, okay? With the three of pinnacles behind the emperor, someone, your boss could have fired you or something like that. He is regretting firing you or letting you go, okay? He does, yeah, because you walked away from something. Maybe you, you left a job or walked away from a job because it was stressing you out. It was getting to you. Your boss right now is having second doubts about firing you or letting you go. Maybe he laid you off. For some of you guys, he could have laid you off. Others, he could have fired you. Whoever this emperor is, he could be an Aries, okay? But he's showing up as a boss, someone's boss. He's showing up as a father, a boss. But a boss, definitely behind that. Next behind him is the Three of Pentacles. He's, it's someone's boss. It's just regretting what they did to you in the past, okay? So they could have been mean to you. They could have put more work on you than they were supposed to. They know they could have had someone else help you, and they didn't. They're just pushing stuff on you. I feel like a lot of um, 
wrong things happen at work that shouldn't have happened. I don't know if you reported that or anything, but, uh, you know, like um, reported like some type of work abuse. I feel like this person now regrets letting you go if you are in a workplace or something like that. And this, this resonates, they regret letting you go. The boss is looking back at you. I don't even know, maybe he might even call you, try to hire you back. Cause I feel like now he sees your value and worth. If someone walked away from something, it could be a relationship for some of you guys cancer others of you guys someone walked away from someone let's look at the money here for cancer we have background check let's see what's here and then it says unexpected income okay and someone could be into socks here doesn't have to be it could be someone's dad again or something like that so please note this may or may not resonate I got daddy uh, energy with the emperor. Dude, someone's dad could be an Aries or either your boss is an Aries or he's just an emperor energy. Okay. But someone it made some kind of um, quick move and they're regretting that. They're regretting what they did to you. They are coming out of this. So whoever this person is, they're ready to talk. They didn't thought things over and stuff. They're ready to talk, open up to you. So that's all I have for you guys, Cancer. Till next time, take care.